What's up guys, Girl in Grease here and welcome back. So today is going to be a maintenance video that I'm somewhat looking forward to. I'm going to be doing um, an oil change on my Jeep. I have opted out of doing a manual oil change done by, you know, Mr. Lube or, you know, a facility like that. I'm going to do it myself. For one, I can decide what kind of oil I'm going to be putting into my Jeep and two, I can generally put in a bit more of a higher quality oil um, for a better price. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so this is the oil I'm going to be putting into my Jeep. Uh, Mobile One, fully synthetic. And it's a really good high quality oil that um, is a pretty good deal when you go and order it from Lord Co. And we also have a K&N oil filter. All right guys, so you can see that white oil filter up there. That's what I'm going to be loosening off. And then you see right here, oh, my hands in the way. That is the funnel the oil will be coming out of. So as you can see there, that's what I'll be taking off momentarily. Okay, so as you can see, it's still draining. So let it drain for a little bit here. So then using a 13 mil socket, you're gonna loosen this off and this is gonna allow the oil to come flying out. And there we have it. Okay, so I waited for the oil to stop dripping. And we're gonna take the bolt and screw it back on. Let's go back in here. Oh, I screwed all the way on. Just Give it a little last minute clean. Hand tighten it. And then using your 13 mil. All right guys, so the next step we're gonna be doing is putting the filter in. So there it is. I'm gonna start taking this wrap off. Okay, 
So there's the filter. So what I like to do is crack open some oil and then I just basically just rub it around the ring of this oil filter so that it just gets a nice good seal and um, kind of gets all of the nicely lubricated. So just dip your finger inside, get some good oil on there. And we're just gonna rub it around the ring. Get nicely lubricated here. So you can get a good seal. And then now we're gonna install the oil filter. Okay. All right. So let me just grab the camera. So as you can see, oil filter is installed right there. So the next step we're gonna be doing is pouring in the oil. So for all of us shorties out here, you're gonna need one of these. <laughs> so I can actually reach getting the oil in. All right, we're on number seven. The engine takes 6.6 .6 quarts of oil, but when you turn the engine on, the oil has to get pushed through the filter, which makes up for that 0.4. So here we go. So now that you guys have put the oil in, you have to reset your oil notification. So now that you're on the, the Jeep accessory mode, it's super, super easy. All you have to do is literally follow what it says, hold okay to reset oil life. So on your steering wheel, hit the okay button, hold to reset and boom. You're at 100%. Booyah. All right, so this is the moment of truth. We're gonna find out whether or not she starts. So far, so good. Don't hear anything alarming. Well, there you guys have it. Another good video on how to do an oil change on my SRT. It was a pretty successful day. Um, so guys, if you did like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe if you wanna see more upcoming videos and we'll catch you next time.